welcome to my story talk show my name is teresa today we have got a very interesting candidate on the panel and his name is gabriel Sintowa, the union president please sir tell us who you are yeah thank you for having me i actually wanted to introduce myself now i've already mentioned my name okay. so i will just go direct to my myself right? okay. uh, i was born some 300 months ago okay. yes in mbara district mm -hmm. but i i grew up in chinsari so i left mbara when i was two years old when my father died so i started grade one to grade nine at the same school okay. yeah in my village then i did my senior secondary at kenneth kaunda technical secondary school in chinsari mm -hmm. um, then i moved from chinsari to rosaka but by the way i'm coming from a very typical village mm -hmm. very typical if you, typical. if you reach grade 12 you are the most educated in the community okay. Yes, okay. so it's a surprise for me to reach this level. Wow. That's why I always appreciate to go to say, you've made it to me. I don't even know how I can appreciate him. You know? Yeah. So uh, I came to Charimbana University in 2015. Okay. Sorry, 2019 as a first year. Okay. I'm now in my final year pursuing Bachelor's of Agriculture Science with Education. Okay, that's good. Well, well, people, I do believe that Mr. Gabriel Sintowe is the Chalimbana Student Union President. Please tell us why you aspired to be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, leadership at any level in any organization is very difficult. Okay. And uh, it depends with how you understand it. Okay. And uh, again, it depends with the motives that are driving you to aspire for leadership. Okay. So when I was in third year, I first aspired as an academic minister, really? but I didn't make it. I never stopped because I had something which was in me that one day I should lead the student, I should contribute to the welfare of the students. That's why I recontested in the next elections. Really? Now, this time as a union president okay. and I made it. Okay. Yes. So how did you take failure when you when you contested the first time and you lost? How did you take it? Uh, I've always ex accepted failure in my life. Okay. At first, when when I grew up, I was told that your dad died. So I thought of maybe he died because of uh, responsibilities. He mm -hmm. failed to take up responsibilities. So that was uh, in me for a long time to say, that if dad was here, he would have done this for me. Okay. So if he died because he failed, but I never understood. So I came to accept that failure was part of life. Failure is part of life. So when I lost my, uh, my best friend, okay. uh, it is very painful for a short period of time depends with how you take it okay. but uh, along the way i healed and i moved on but i went back to the drawing board to find out where the problem was and i discovered that problem i worked on it next time i made it wow that's very impressive and now you're the union president yes how does that make you feel uh being a union president just like any other leader mm -hmm. or that doesn't take away the studentship in me yeah that's why you find me, I just lower myself to, to a common student. Mm -hmm. Because I understand the first thing, I'm a student. Yes. The second thing, I'm given a mandate by the students to lead them. Yes. So that doesn't make me superior than them. Oh, yes. uh, the people I'm leading, I'm supposed to be closer to them mm -hmm. so that I hear from them. Mm -hmm. If I don't have the solution, I tell them to say, guys, this can't happen because of this and this and this and this. So it doesn't change me. I, will, I still remain the same person. Okay, okay. Yes. very impressive. You are very composed for a president. I see why the students speak to you. So tell me, how do you manage to balance your academic life, your social life, and you as a student leader? Uh, it's very difficult to respond to that question because even you yourself, you don't know if I, 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 I balance or I don't balance. Do you know? No, I don't. So, so how do we want to know how to balance? <laughs> because being a student <laughs> union president is a lot yes. because yeah. you, you are responsibilities. Exactly. Yes. So now, I, I, I don't know if I manage, if I balance or not. Okay. I don't know what you use to gauge that I balance. If, okay. it's, if you look at the results mm -hmm. or you look at... Uh, how i'm able to deliver to the student expectations so are you using this as measure of balance okay, so the criteria i'm using yes. is in your academics are mm -hmm. they going up or are they going down from my previous performance from your previous performance how are they okay. are you doing okay or would you feel balanced mm -hmm. how is it since you and the viewers don't know my result from first year so i'm balancing Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's good. And your yes. social life, how do you manage to separate your 
um, your student affairs. leadership and just your own social life has just seemed to it. Gabriel yes, seemed Gabriel. to it. Just want to be with your friends and you just want to hang out with your friends away from student leadership. How do you balance that? Do you have that? Uh, it's always very difficult to balance because whenever student sees you, mm -hmm. they want a solution. Oh, yeah. They want a solution. Mm -hmm. Even you, when I came here, you were saying, I'm interviewing the president. You see? So yeah. it's, it's hard, but uh, I always find time to myself so that at least for myself so that at least uh there, there is life after school so i, I always yeah. find time to 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 work on myself as well mm -hmm. away from that i should also uh concentrate concentrate yeah uh, okay, now that I okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we just hope that you got your social life because we want uh, to hear wedding bells very yeah. soon. Yeah, don't, don't worry. <laughs> that is settled. That okay. is that is there already. Okay, so what um what are the challenges um that you face? You know, while you're you're a student leader, you know, because leading students isn't easy. So how do you manage to face these challenges? Could be positive challenges or negative challenges how do you manage okay i don't know if you will start with the positives or the negatives but i will you can start with either okay so now uh being a student leader like i mentioned earlier it's not easy yeah more especially that i'm holding the topmost position mm -hmm. i'm the first student who is entitled almost to everything yes. so now what does that entail so uh that that position comes with a lot of responsibilities mm -hmm. but uh, i'm lucky that i'm working with the very capable ministers okay and i've always been mentioning this to them to say colleagues the president the vice president and the prime ministers these three they don't have specification to say they'll be working from this so these are not in student leadership mm -hmm. these are in student management okay so the ministers there is minister of health minister of mm -hmm. education mm -hmm. so those are managing a leading student in those areas okay. then there is this top three who are just student management so as we are just manager of this of the students affairs mm -hmm. not reading me i'm not a reader i'm managing the student affairs yes and it's going perfectly so far as we've seen because the students are quite impressed with your administration right now they, they're impressed but myself i'm not impressed so when i came into office i set some goals to say when i achieve this okay that's when i'm going to consider myself that at least we've done something but i can't see that so this is why i'll keep fighting up to the last minute of Chau of me being in chaoso that's okay. what i want Okay, hence why you're the president. Very impressive. So how do you respond to criticism? Let's start with negative criticism <laughs> as the president. Ah, you know, criticism always builds me. You know what happens? No. When I'm in my room, then this, the student will be on media commenting, doing this and this. Mm -hmm. Then I'll be there laughing, even showing my, my neighbor to say, now I'm posting it, guys. That's too So, comment Okay, there's this and this and this. I'm even waiting for the comments. Yeah. Sometimes I even I even call the person to say, Ah, boy, yeah. It's very powerful in that perspective, right? Yeah. It's it's very powerful. So criticism, negative criticism, uh, most of the times, eh, as a human being, mm -hmm. I cannot learn away from that. It pains me. Oh, yes. I feel touched. Oh, yes. I feel emotion sometimes. I also become emotional yes. because you find that you are missing classes for the whole week mm -hmm. just to see to it that the student welfare are improved. Mm -hmm. You do, you give in the best, oh, yes. but what you get from the people you are fighting for are the insults and the negative criticism to say. Mm -hmm. So it it really pains and it motivates you as a leader. Oh, yes. So we've seen some leaders where by when they are criticized, they wrote, but viva la, kuna viva la, but, ah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm fighting for nothing. They are not helping the situation. So I can just encourage my colleagues to say, my fellow students to say, we fail as leaders, mm -hmm. but it's not always that we are supposed to go on media. That's why I told the cabinet to say, we are not supposed to respond on media. Oh, yes. And you will never see Chao also responding on media. Mm -hmm. Yes. So negative criticism always... Uh, is always bad i cannot run away from that mm -hmm. so if you ask another person to say how do you respond to negative criticism we, we just learn to forget yes we just learn to forget <laughs> 
you see yeah mm -hmm. positive criticism always builds us yeah. mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. so positive criticism always builds me as an individual and it makes me to work extra hard when i do something the student will be there to crap then i'll be motivated to say can i also do that so that students crap yes yes so positive criticism always builds me Okay, okay. Yes. Well, we've had some of the things that, you know, the president has gone through or some of the challenges that he's faced in his motivations. So I would like to ask you, what could be your message to those aspiring candidates? <laughs> you know, those that want to be um, in student leadership. Please start with the, with the positive. The positive. Yeah. <laughs> and what they should look out for. Okay. Uh, as an aspiring leader, as an aspiring leader, more especially in the next uh, general elections. Yeah. So, as an individual aspiring for a position, set three goals that you want to achieve mm -hmm. in the union, mm -hmm. apart from saving students. Okay. Why so, uh, yes. So, so number one, saving students is what you are going into Chaos for. Mm -hmm. So, you remove that one as a goal. Okay. Number two, remove money. In student leadership, there is no money. In the union, there is no money. Mm -hmm. Then, set three goals that you want to achieve at the end of the day. Okay. So you remove money, you remove saving okay. students, you yeah. also know that uh, your academic life will be affected. Yes. Uh, in the past three years, from first day to, to third day, I never missed a class. But this time I'm going for a week without attending lectures. Oh, no. But I need to start, I need to pass at the end of the day. In my class, even the, the, my colleagues will be looking at my results to say, to a man, a yeah. So what do you do? You spend the whole night studying. Mm -hmm. You shame the devil. Yeah. Yes. So when they're expecting to say, Azafiru, Azafiru, can I choose Azad? Oh, yes. You see? So set three goals as an aspiring leader. Mm -hmm. I can only comment further if you, if you, I know those goals. So me, when I came, mm -hmm. I came into leadership with three goals to say, the first thing, I don't want money. I know I'm going to be missing classes. Mm -hmm. I know students are giving me money to save them. Mm -hmm. So what am I going to what are my objectives there? Personal objectives. Mm -hmm. I need to network. Yes. I'll just talk about that one. <laughs> okay. Yes. I guess everybody knows what networking is. And we've actually seen what the student union president has done, you know, so far for the union. It's quite impressive, I should say. Okay. So what challenges do you think aspiring candidates are going to face? And how should they respond to them? Should they run to the media and respond quickly? Or they should... Um, suck it up and just keep it in and just move on how are they supposed to face those challenges so uh, what is important is uh, what is important is in, in leadership is maturity mm -hmm. if, you are not, if you are not mature you don't aspire mm -hmm. then if you are in third year going to fourth year if you are not going to make your points up to 12 points don't aspire mm -hmm. yes okay yes all right thank you very much for coming on the show it's been very interesting. I think even just for me, I've learned quite a lot. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video to your friends and family. Thank you, and have a good day.